The answer has same number of significant digits as the number in your problem with fewest significant digits. That's a lot of words. What is it basically saying is if I'm taking the number 3.4, how many significant digits do I have? Two significant digits. Now multiplying it by 1.9876, what I'm going to get is 6.75784. This is the calculator number. But I know that I don't wanna keep all those digits because one of my numbers I used to begin with wasn't even measured very accurately. This guy was measured a whole lot more accurately. How many digits do I keep? My answer that given by the calculator is given by this guy and I'm gonna keep the same number of significant digits as the number in my problem with the fewest significant digits. In other words, this number has two significant digits. Therefore, my answer must have two significant digits. So the way I'm gonna write that is 6.8. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.